What's up guys? In this video I'll be making a very simple and cheap motorized camera slider for less than 15 bucks. In my previous video I showed you how I designed this slider in the SOLIDWORKS, so now let's just convert all files to a G-code and print those pieces out. After a few hours the prints were ready and I had to clean all the supports and remove some unnecessary retraction strings. So here are all the basic parts we're gonna need to build the slider. I'll of course put the 3D files and links to all other accessories in the description box below. But before we continue I realized I forgot to add a place for the switch so I jumped back to SOLIDWORKS and extend the voltage regulator holder so the switch could be mounted to it as close as possible. And bam, here it is, freshly printed and now we can really start assembling everything together. So I firstly mounted two linear bearings to the base with some very short M4 screws. Then I attached two 50cm aluminum pipes on the left leg with the help of a hammer, slide on the base and again hammer down the remaining right leg so I get a nice and sturdy frame. The basic sliding function is achieved, if you want you can make a manual slider without a motor which is totally fine and usable for some fast transitions, but that's not what I particularly wanted, so let's use the same DC motor that I used when I made a rotary table and mount it to the frame with the same M4 nuts and bolts. After that I secured the pulley to the shaft of the motor and tightened the pulley belt with some zip ties. Now we need to make a reverse polarity switch and the simplest way to do that is to use a DPDT switch aka double pole double throw switch which has two separate channels and with that simple circuit we can switch the polarity that goes to the motor. After that I install the switch and a voltage regulator to the frame, solder up and hide the remaining wires and we are finally ready to test the slider with 12 volt power supply. It's working really good and again you could stop at that point but I want to mount my slider to the tripod so I cut a small piece of wood on my new saw, drill a few holes and attach a quick release mount under the slider. Lastly, I screw in the 1 4th of an inch camera bolt and install the 9 volt battery so we can take our slider outside and make some crazy looking shots.
And there we have it guys, a simple and easy to make camera slider which you can take with yourself on a trip and shot some crazy videos. Thank you for staying till the end, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and I can guarantee you that lots of cool stuff is coming up, so smash that red button and I'll talk to you next time.